Hey guys, I already created two videos about screen tearing. In the first one, I showed how to get rid of those horizontal lines when using NVIDIA graphics card. And the second one is for Intel chips. This third video is going to complete my series. Let's fix the issue on AMD graphics chips. First, we need to find out what driver is loaded into memory. Let's open the terminal, run this command. It shows that the graphics chip is indeed made by AMD. Find the line that starts with kernel driver in use. What we're interested in is the name of the driver. I have Radeon. The method that I'm going to show you works with two drivers, Radeon and AMD GPU. Please don't use the method if your current driver is different from those two or you do not have kernel driver in use line at all. It won't work. Note that if you have Radeon or AMD GPU in the kernel modules section, that doesn't count. The driver has to be loaded into memory and active. It should be listed as the driver in use here. If it isn't, you need to install and activate one of those two drivers to use this method. If you're a Debian user, check out my AMD driver installation video. Ok, let's begin. We're going to modify XORG configuration. You need to be careful because if something goes wrong, you won't be able to boot your desktop environment and will end up being stuck with the real terminal, not the emulator. So first, let's make sure that you don't have any custom configuration files already. Run this command and check if you have xorg.conf or xorg.conf.d in the list. If you do, run this to create a backup just in case. This command is for xorg.conf and this one if you have xorg.conf.d. You'll need administrative rights for that. Use sudo or su command. Now, if you have Radeon as an active driver in use, you need to follow these steps. Create a new config file and open it for editing in nanotext editor with this command. Add those lines to the file. You can copy and paste it. Make sure that you have an empty line at the end of the file. Once we're done, we need to save the file by pressing Ctrl and O on your keyboard. Then enter and exit by pressing Ctrl and X. You need to reboot your computer for the changes to take effect. If you have AMD GPU as an active driver in use, you need to follow these steps. Create a directory named xorg.conf.d for the new xorg configuration file. Then let's create the config file and open it for editing. Add those lines to the file. You can move the cursor with the arrow keys on your keyboard. Create an empty line at the end. Save the file by pressing Ctrl and O on your keyboard, then enter and exit by pressing Ctrl and X. Don't forget to reboot your computer for the changes to take effect. Please do not create both files for AMD GPU and Radeon drivers. That will mess up your system. You need to create only one of those. After you rebooted your computer, you can make sure that you don't have screen tearing anymore with my test. All the commands that I mentioned in this video, links to tutorials on AMD driver installation and the screen tearing test you can find in the description below. I hope you'll enjoy watching movies and playing 3D games on your Linux computer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you later.